This is a quick little tutorial for alignment. So I have some squares here. I will select them all. Now, up here, these top three, like shown in this little picture here, means that when I click one of these threes, the objects will move only horizontal, not vertical. So let's give it a go. You can see that the bottom three moved horizontally to match up with the left side of the leftmost object, and we'll undo that. And then if I center them, uh, it splits the distance between them and centers them at that center distance. Undo, and this one, they will all line up to the right edge of the rightmost object. And there you go. Now the last three here are for vertical movement. So I have them all selected. If I do the top, they will all align to the top red object. And they do. And now they will center themselves somewhere in this vicinity at the center of the objects. And at the bottom they will align to the yellow. And so they did. And now I'm going to bring this little window in here to show you the distribute objects. This just gives a clearer picture here. Distribute horizontal centers option just shows you that the overall width is the same. So the outer square and the outer square, if we did a distribute horizontal, they wouldn't move. But then the space would be split between the outer edges. And this one is center, so things, you can see that uh, the items are centered. And here's an example of using uh, the centers option and having a value means that you can space them out as you wish. And this one here, again, uh, that's what you start with. You put a spacing in here, uh, and you use the spacing. You can get that with this icon. And I think that's a good summary of this. Note that align the Align panel is found in Window Menu, Object and Layout, Align. And it's meant to align objects not, it has nothing to do with text alignment. So let's just do one more here. We'll take these and we'll use 0.25. And again, vertical, they all move vertical. And if you measured the distance from here down to the top of this one, it's a quarter of an inch from here to here and here to here. And then we'll do this one as well. And now there's a quarter of an inch between these and we could just quickly now align them at the top and uh, there you go. That's a quick little review of alignment.